We turn now to the security breach that is still causing shockwaves in Washington. The Secret Service has reportedly interviewed the couple behind the state dinner scandal, but the couple isn't speaking out publicly. Not yet, as they are allegedly looking for a big payday. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plan has more. Good morning, Bill. Good morning to you, Harry. Their friends are talking all right, and so is everyone else. But then Mikel and Sarik Talahi probably don't, Salahi rather, probably don't object to that because they've always sought publicity. Friends of the now notorious pair don't think the Salahis knew that their evening at the White House would cause such an uproar, but that they're probably delighted with the attention. They're the most talked about couple in the whole world right now. The Salahis told friends they were on the White House guest list. My understanding is, is that they have emails and that they have um, correspondence that say that they were supposed to be there. The Salahis, who are in seclusion, were scheduled to tell their side of the story on tonight's Larry King Live. But that interview has since been scrapped. Television executives have told some of my colleagues, as well as other news organizations, that the Salahis are seeking a six-figure deal. And now some members of Congress are calling for charges to be brought against the Salahis. You gotta send a strong deterrent that people just don't do this kind of thing. The Secret Service has admitted it made mistakes, but several people who attended Wednesday night's dinner suggest the agency shouldn't shoulder all the blame because the White House was also at fault. The procedure would have dictated that someone from the social office should have been at the door. These are the people who recognize the people on the guest list. Well, Secret Service says no charges pending, at least not yet, and the Salahis remain in hiding, at least until somebody comes up with real money. Harry? <laughs> it is all about the real money. Bill Plant, thank you so much.